Merry Christmas! Welcome to our Lake Point Kids Online Family Experience, friends. I'm Miss Rachel, and it's so wonderful to spend time with you at Christmas. You must be so excited. I know I am. I can't wait for all the fun Christmas brings. I know. I'll say something about Christmas, and if you're excited for it, then jump up and down. Okay, who here is excited for yummy foods and treats at Christmas? I am too. All right, who is excited to see or talk to some special family members like your grandparents or aunties and uncles or cousins? I am too. Who is excited to open presents? I am too. Guess what? Speaking of presents, today when I came into my office, there was a present waiting for me on my desk. I wonder who gave it to me and I wonder what it is. Why don't you yell out a guess? Hmm, who knows? Should I open it now or should I wait for Christmas morning? Okay, I'll open it now. Oh, wow, look, friends. There's some special Christmas earrings. They're made to look like presents. Isn't that neat? Oh, I better put these on right away. Well, what do you think, friends? I really like them. Do you ever wonder why we give gifts at Christmas? Well, it's because there's gifts in the Christmas story we've been learning about. Now, the first gift is actually a gift for you and, and for me and for the entire world. It's the gift of Jesus. God gave his son Jesus to the world as a gift. And second, there are gifts mentioned in the Christmas story when some people visited Jesus when he was just an itty little boy and gave him presents. We haven't talked about that part of the story yet, so let's hop on over to the clubhouse and learn more about it right now.
time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Oh, hey friends, it's me, Poppy. Welcome to our Christmas pajama party. I was just filling up these gift bags we'll give to our friends at the party. They'll each get an angel ornament to remind them how an angel came and told Mary the big news she was going to have God's son. And they'll each get a cow to remind them how Jesus was born in a stable near animals. And sheep stickers to remind them how the shepherds ran to meet the best gift ever, Jesus. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Are those gift bags in front of you? Hi, Ollie. They sure are. There's just one more thing to put inside. A star. I know a story about a star. And three wise men who traveled so far. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Merry Christmas, friends! I'm just in the mailman. I'm just on my way to celebrate with my neighbors. Christmas is a very special day because we're celebrating someone very special. Does anyone remember who we celebrate on Christmas? Yes, Jesus! Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. Now, there's one more part of the true story of Christmas you've got to know. Let me just put our story mail in the mailbox and... Okay, so this part of the true story of Christmas happened after Jesus was born. After Jesus was born, God put something in the sky. Did God put a teddy bear in the sky? No, that isn't right. God put a popsicle in the sky? No, God put a star in the sky. Yes, a star. Can you make a twinkly star with your hand like this? Great job. Far, far away, there were some wise men who saw it. Can you make your hand like a telescope and look at the star high in the sky? Okay, you can put your telescopes away now. They knew the star meant something special. God put the star there because God's son, Jesus, was born. They were so excited. We've got to follow it, they said. We must go and find God's son. They followed the star and probably rode on an animal. What animal would be able to walk through the desert with lots and lots of sand? Let's see. Camels! The wise men got on the camels and set out to follow the star. Finally, the star led them to... Jesus! When the wise men saw Jesus, they bowed down and worshipped him. They gave him presents because they knew Jesus was very special. And we know Jesus is special because Jesus is God's son. We can remember how special Jesus is every day. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Merry Christmas. So there's your story, and it's all true. The wise men worshiped Jesus, 
And we can too! Thanks, Sally! Goodbye to you! Hoo! Hoo! Wow! The wise men followed a star and celebrated Jesus! I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it! Get it? Got it! Good! I'm going to finish these party favors. But first, let's sing happy birthday to celebrate Jesus and his birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Jesus! Happy birthday to you! See you guys next time! Bye! God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3:16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son, John 3:16. Jesus. God sent Jesus to the world because he loves us. On that very first Christmas, God made a bright and shiny star shine high, high up in the sky. There were some wise men who knew that this was a sign that something special had happened. They decided to follow the star. They packed their bags and rode on some camels. It took them a long time to follow the star. When they finally arrived at the place where the star was, they were at a house where little Jesus was living with his parents, Mary and Joseph. When the wise men saw Jesus, they worshipped him and gave him gifts. They knew that Jesus was a very special little boy. He was God's son. God gave us the gift of Jesus because he loves us, and Jesus is the best gift ever. Today, friends, I want you to think of what you could give Jesus as a present. Maybe you want to color him a picture, or sing him a song, or say a prayer to him. Doing something special for him is a good way to let him know you love him too. Parents, now's the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the Lake Point app to fill out our online connection card. Signing our guest book lets us know who is watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Lake Point initiatives and opportunities. So friends, while your parents are busy doing that, why don't you pretend to be a camel? Enjoy our earlier Lake Point Kids online family experiences on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the Family Resources section. Friends, I'm so glad you tuned in today. I'll see you again next week. Same time, same place. Merry Christmas!